So at first glance, there's a lot going on in this example, but what we need to do is just work out the current in each of all of these ammeters. Now, um, an approach to a question like this is actually to draw onto your circuit diagram. So what we have is for ammeter two, there's a current of 1.8 amps. So I'm just gonna draw an arrow here to show that at this point, in this part of the circuit, the current is equal to 1.8. For ammeter three, it's 1.2. So I'm just gonna put 1.2 down there. And for ammeter four, it's also 1.2. So that's what I know from the question. Now we've got to remember that if you have uh, parts of a parallel circuit, the current splits at a junction. Now at this junction down here, we've got 1.8 amps going down and we've got 1.2 amps, which is flowing off to the side because you're gonna have the same current here as you are here. So you've got 1.8 here, 1.2 there, and that means that ammeter one, it must be equal to 1.8 plus 1.2. So that means the value is 3.0. And again, I'm just going to label that on my diagram. Now for ammeter 5, well, ammeter 5 is down here, but you're going to have the same current over here as you are between the resistors and at this point here on the circuit. So again, what we're having is this current flows down here. 1.2 goes that way. We had 1.8, and that means whatever's left is going to be equal to 0 0.6. So you've got 0 0.6 going here, 1.2 there from that 1.8. So number five is 0 0.6. So we can see now that at this point we've got 0 0.6 here. Uh, that adds to the 1.2 to make 1.8 going up here. And then 1.8 added to 1.2 means that going through ammeter six, you've got a value of 3.0. And actually that's the same current going into the cell as it is coming out. So you've got three there and three there. So the value for reading ammeter six is equal to 3.0. And all I'm doing is just kind of labeling stuff in my diagram and working around it in this kind of logical format in order to finish answering this question.